It's going to be really nice later, Krista. Absolutely. We're talking temperatures that will be 10 plus degrees above average for this time of year today. And we have even warmer temperatures as we head later on into the week. But getting you started for this morning, be aware that there is a little bit of patchy fog once again. Nothing too terribly dense at this time, but be aware it is out there reducing visibility. I'd say our more problematic areas east of Indianapolis into Hancock County right now, and then our far northwestern counties once again, much like like yesterday, so a little fog out there, but otherwise live guardian radar is nice and quiet. We're going to keep us rain free for the next few days before showers arrive as we head into the weekend. Now today we will have a mix of sun and clouds, especially areas uh, along I 70 and south. That's where we'll have a little more cloud cover today as a disturbance is passing south of the state, throwing some of that cloud cover uh, into our area, but we're going to stay dry and overall it's still going to be a really nice day ahead. So if you're looking for a good time to take the dog for an extended walk. I'd say during the morning hours, not bad at all, but you do need that jacket as those temperatures are a little cooler into the afternoon. Fantastic. If your dog likes the warmer weather like mine, maybe choose a later time in the day. At this time, Indianapolis, we're at 49 degrees, 45 in Muncie and 47 in Bloomington. This time of year, this time in the morning, we should see temperatures in the lower 40s. So even though there's a little more of a chill in the air, we're still above average for this time of year. We're running about five to 10 degrees cooler from where we were early Tuesday morning. So a little bit of a difference out there as you're walking out the door into the afternoon, though, it's going to feel great. Those clouds will start decreasing once again, and we'll see temperatures by the lunch hour right around 60 degrees and into the late afternoon temperatures that will be flirting with 70 degrees. I don't think we quite get there in Indianapolis looking at a high of 69, but a few locations across central Indiana certainly could touch that mark. As we head into the evening hours tonight will be very similar to what we had last night. Mostly clear skies by 10 o'clock will be in the mid 50s by tomorrow morning. We'll be back into the upper 40s. So we have this ridge that's building over the eastern half of the state and it's going to stay with us for quite some time and it's really going to continue bringing in that warmth and very much above average temperatures. We are looking at temperatures even just today about 11 degrees above average by Friday 17 degrees above average and while Saturday was initially looking a little bit warmer, we've knocked those temperatures down because we're speeding up the timing of the arrival of the showers that we're tracking for this weekend. So if you have weekend plans, know that the timing has been moved up on when the rain arrives. I'd say we could see some showers as early as Saturday morning. This is 5 a.m. By this time, I'd say more spotty in nature and then scattered showers definitely by late morning on into the afternoon. This is a lunch hour, 12 o'clock, and then those will be moving out as we head into Saturday evening. A few spotty showers possible into early Sunday, but that's really it for our chances of rain up to 71 and dry tomorrow, 74 and dry on Friday. Those showers come on Saturday with a high of 66 six set those clocks back Saturday night because daylight saving ends on Sunday and just in Monday and Tuesday. We're looking fantastic. Now, on average, we only see two days in the 70s in Indianapolis. Well, we've got four on the board.